Hey guys, this is Shane and welcome to my Curator of the Lost channel. So this is where if I see cool, I'm buying cool. You know, I books are my wheelhouse, but I'm going to thrift stores, I'm going to estate sales, uh, library bookstores, and, and seeing what I can find. So in this episode, um, the last two, I'm going to show the last two weeks have been like no books, but some really cool, eclectic, uh, weird stuff. So uh, this episode's kind of funny. One, one, set, one book or one set of books and then the rest is all, all just crazy stuff that I found that has some great resale potential. So I hope you enjoy it. If you do, hey, give me some comments. I'd be interested in see what you what you think about the things I'm finding. And um, hey, if you like it, give me a like. Um, you know, subscribe. Every couple of weeks, I'll be, you know, putting depending on how much stuff I find when I'm out. You know, I'll be posting some updates to, you know, sh sh give you some ideas, show the cool stuff I'm finding. So with that, let's jump in. The first, uh, like I said, books have been slim the last couple of weeks i'm not sure why but this one set i found a set of paperbacks it was on on star trek voyager uh, it's three paperbacks has the characters on there and what caught my eye on this was that with pandemic we've been watching all the old star treks we blasted through the next generation like all seven episodes seven seasons you know 150 episodes uh deep space nine we're in season four of voyager now so these caught my eye but then when i looked them up um, a set of three of these have sold for 70 bucks. I got these for a dollar each. So that was pretty good. Uh, another set had sold for maybe the 25 to 30 range. But some people were saying, hey, these are hard to find. They're listing them for 10 bucks a piece, sometimes 30 bucks a piece. If I can get 30, 30 bucks or 40 bucks out of that set of three, awesome for three paperbacks for three bucks. So that's all the books. Everything else, non-books, the mystery weird stuff that I found. All right. First thing on that. Look, pool balls, billiard balls, but not what you would think. These are not full size. They're small. If you look at them, you know, put this in my hand, you can see just how small it is. Uh, you know, this particular set, all these were in a, in a little pail, little plastic pail, little bucket. A dollar for the whole bucket. This one, this one is smaller. Well, it turns out that these come from a game called Pivot Pool. It's a tabletop game. Where you you know you it looks like a looks like a regular pool but it's real small and it has a little plunger pool thing to do pivot pool so people sell these for three four five dollars a piece I guess if um, they've lost one they want to replace it uh, the game wasn't there so just the balls for a dollar all these for a dollar uh, I'll probably sell these as a lot I don't know that I'll list them individually but I'll decide um, the smaller ones you can see they're even they're even smaller uh, let me show you one of those. Like here's the eight ball, be behind the eight ball. Real small. This one comes from a game called um, Pivot Pool. Same thing. It's a tabletop game, and you have a little. Um, I'm sorry. This one's Pendulum Pool. The other one was Pivot Pool. You have a little uh, pendulum that you pull back and swing it, hit the balls to make your shot. So that's weird stuff number one. Weird stuff number two. All right. Keys. Look at this. These uh, are mainly Corbin. If you look at them, they're very they're very decorative. Um, you know, they have, you know, see they're decorative like that. There's some of them that are like that. But they're Eagle Lock Company and Corbin Locks. Um, you see these things sometimes sold as a lot for 60 or 70 bucks. Sometimes people list them and the key has a little code, I guess, you know, just just like your locks, maybe at your work or on your desk or something, they're, the, the key is, is keyed to the lock. So, you know, if it, this one says a DF5, so it's going to fit a DF5 lot, lock. So if somebody has a locker or a, a trunk or an old key that's a Corbin key, they're going to need this. And people list these individual keys with their codes, and they sell sometimes like 10 bucks a key. So I've got a, I've got a whole sack of them here. See? There's some more decorative ones. Uh, I'm not sure how I'll list these. I might try listing some individually, but weird stuff number two. Keys, really good potential there. All right, here's here's one weird one. I'm going through the thrift store and I see these in the corner. These things are, all I see are these big bags. And if you look at it, there's four of them. They were a dollar each and it says Wind Scoop and it said Davis Marine. I didn't know what they were. Um, but I was familiar with Davis Marine. They, they make radar reflectors 
uh, like you know, and Lundberg lenses that you put on sailboats for safety. You know, so if somebody with their radar, they'll see you won't run over you. Well, turns out wind scoops from Davis Marine are discontinued. Um, but I guess if you're on a boat, uh, it gets hot in the cabin or can get hot. So these things are fabric. They somehow, I don't know, they come with dowel rods with little hooks on them. <clears throat> I'm not even sure how they work, uh, but there's there's four of them. They're different colors, and see it's these big these big fabric deals. And see it has wind scoop on it, and somehow it fits over your porthole window. And I guess as your boat goes along, it scoops the wind, pulls it into your porthole, your into your window, into your cabin. Basically, your it's your it's your ready-made air conditioner for your for your boat. Uh, these are discontinued at Davis. Um, I see these listed for thirty to forty dollars each. So, again, I'm not exactly sure how they work, but uh, that's the premise. And I got four of them for a dollar each. I'll list these and sell them. Put them in a priority box. It's a great weird find. I uh, never seen that before. And oh, one of them in particular was kind of cool. Yeah. So look at one of them. Actually, had a name tag. It actually had this name tag and was like uh, U.S. Paycom Japan. Um, oh, let's see. Yeah, there you go. So I guess somebody was a, was in the Pacific and got into sailing. Looks like they're all from the same person. So weird thing number three. Okay, next. All right, I've run across a couple of really cool old tennis rackets. Now I've sold these before. Uh, this one's a, a Bancroft Billie Jean King signature model. This one's a Max Ply Fort. The Max Ply Ford is about a $40 racket. This is about a $20 racket. When I find these, if they're in good condition, uh, at the right price, like a dollar, two dollars, I'll pick them up. I don't know if people collect these, if they, I can't imagine somebody still playing with these with today's technology, but what you do is you look at them, look along there and make sure they're not warped, right? If they're warped, don't buy them. Uh, you can check edge wear, you can check grip wear. Um, I find these sell so pretty good if you find the right ones. Some of them are worthless. Not even worth the time, you know, two, three, four, five dollars. But you'll run across some of them like this Max Plot Ford. It's a forty dollar racket. Get this for a dollar. Good deal. So put them in. A, I'll put them in. Put two priority mailboxes together. Stick them in there. Wrap them. Uh, easy shipping goes good. So weird thing number. I don't know. Is that number four? Number five? A uh, couple, couple tennis rackets. Okay. The next thing was I paid five dollars for this. It's a nineteen sixty one edition of Park and Shop. Now. It's kind of ratted out on the box, but all the pieces are there. Pristine, this thing runs a hundred bucks. Um, I think I can still get forty or fifty dollars for it. It's got all these little pieces in it. It's like got little, see little cars and and little people, you know. So, and then the board itself is very artistic. Uh, I think it's kind of cool. It's uh, see here's the board itself. Got all this little design. People, some people will frame these, put them on the wall in a game room. I think some people just collect the games, especially if it's a hard to find game. Um, this particular game was, like I said, if it's per scene, it's a hundred bucks. As is, it's gonna be more, like 40 or $50. It's complete, I'll sell it complete. So that, that that's a good one. All right, the next thing, this may be the last thing I'm showing on this this one. It was it was in, in with the same games. Look here, it's uh, a little bit newer game, 70s. Silly Safari. Now this thing is ratted out. It, it, the box, it doesn't have all the pieces, but I like the artwork, and especially on the game board. The game board was was really really cool. You can see all the all the artwork. It has this hole in the middle. Now, what the hole does? There's this piece here that goes in the middle, sits there, and it has like some animals that put here. And I don't know. You move around. Not sure how you play the game, but this thing, you do certain things. This thing spins around. It's incomplete. I'll part this out. I paid $3 for, for the game. I typically don't like to part things out um, it's if they're complete. But being incomplete, I'll part it out. Somebody will have a game that they're waiting on. You know, they need one little giraffe or elephant or something. It'll complete their game. Four, five, six bucks for a piece, maybe 10 bucks, you know, sell the board. So that'll be a part part out. So that's it. Uh, that was the last weird thing. It was, again, slim pickings on books. So, but, but, you know, hey, you go in, you give what the stores, you give what the state sells, you know, what they give you. Uh, you know, my mantra is, if you see cool, you have to buy cool. And 
Uh, that's what happened the last couple of weeks. Uh, didn't get didn't get the uh, my book finds, but found some other stuff that's really really fun. Uh, so hey, hope you found that enjoyable. Give you some comps, some ideas for your stores or for for your your treasure hunts. And uh, hey, again, if you liked it, give me a like, uh, subscribe, and uh, have fun. Be safe, and we'll talk to you next time. Whenever uh, you know, hopefully in the next week or two, I'll find some more stuff, and we'll we'll do this again. So see you later. Bye.